What's up everyone? Welcome back to One Strange Adventure. Welcome to the next video. Look at that sunset. Wow, that is pretty coming in. Anyways, just got off work. We have two projects that we're gonna complete this week. And uh, yeah, Cindy doesn't know about them. Ha, she's actually in Virginia right now with the kids. Uh, Michaela's getting her braces off. She's had braces since she was like nine years old. That poor girl, she's 18 now. And she is getting them off. So by the time this video hits, uh, her pretty smile will be shining through. Today, we're going to be doing a couple projects to the RV, some modifications. Uh, the first one is the sewer hose on, or, or the sewer outlet on this RV, for some reason, is tilted more like downward than others. Even other 399s I've seen, our friends have one, and it's, it's just really low to the ground to the point where if I hook a hose to it, I can't even use the tall side of like the, the little slinky thing that holds the, the sewer hose. I can't use the tall side of it because it's too low to the ground for me to even use it. I'm gonna cut that and we're going to cement it back in place, the piping, we're gonna couple it uh, and have it at a little bit more of an uh, upward angle. So I know that it still needs an angle to flow out and there's plenty of angle because it's almost, it's like pointing at the ground right now. So there's plenty of room to move it up uh, to make it match the back one so I can actually use the sneaky. The second project that we're doing today, Cindy doesn't know, this is something that Cindy has said since we got this RV. And, but she doesn't know I'm doing it this week. So that's the fun part. Uh, unless she's watching on the ring camera. Nope, we're good. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, so our fireplace. Uh, one of the things that we've said about this rig is that there's no shoe storage, particularly around the front doors. So we're gonna take the fireplace and we're gonna move it up more towards the TV. And there's a big empty space under that because I have seen it done. And I, when I go into the bay, I've seen behind it and I know that there's a big space back there uh, underneath the, the fireplace itself. So by moving that up, it creates a really big gap from the floor uh, to, the, to the bottom of the fireplace. And so what that means is that I'm going to create some shoe storage for us in this rig. And then what they do is they basically take uh, like a rubber mat that you, one of those mats that you have outside that you set your work boots on and stuff, cut one of those mats to fit and you're basically making like a slide out tray. So that's pretty cool. She's always talked about wanting to do that. So I'm gonna try to get that done before she gets back and we're gonna surprise her. So you guys get to see her reaction too. Hopefully she's not mad at me. Eek. <laughs> All right, uh, we're running out of daylight. So let's go outside and I need to get that uh, sewer pipe cut before our friends leave because they let me borrow their saw. I've already run to Lowe's. I've got everything I need to uh, put it back. The tanks are drained, all that other good stuff. It's still gonna be messy. I'll try to limit what you guys have to see. It's gonna be a crappy job either way. Anyways, on that note, let's go. If there's one thing I dislike doing, it's crawling under the slide. All right, I gotta figure out where I'm gonna cut this thing. So I got my coupler. And I wanna leave, I wanna get as close to this as I can because I don't want it to be like flexing in the center. I figured over here, close to the support, would probably be best. About right there is where I should cut. So that'll bring it to the middle and still have some exposed for me to be able to make sure it's good and sealed. And to seal it, I have good old uh, primer and cement for PVC. And then I, 
added precaution, I was gonna, this is white, so I didn't wanna like just leave it white, but I figured as an added precaution, we'll coat it with Flex Seal. And then that way, uh, it's black and it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's protected from additional leaks. There we go. Now, now both sides has some support. I got some painter's tape. I'm gonna wrap it around and I'm gonna try to get it as straight as possible. Cause you want, you want it to have a good connection inside the, inside the coupler. All right, that gives me a good line to, to follow all the way around. If we are measuring uh, the pipe, it's about six inches off the ground right now. This over here is about 10 and a half inches over the, off the ground. Huge difference. I need to take this little, the little hanger off so it can move. All right, I'm going to sand these burrs down. Here comes the fun part. If you've ever done PVC, there's a primer and a cement. All right, first thing we're going to do is Primer, primer it, then cement it. And we also got a primer and cement inside this as well. So let's go ahead and hit the purple primer. And while the primer is still wet, you want to cement. All right, we got that on. So now, now we need to figure out the angle. That raises it up about three inches right there. All right, now I'm going to start priming the other side. All right, it said two hours to cure, so I'm back. And we're just gonna hit it with some flex seal. Good news is, is if it leaks, hopefully it doesn't, but if it does, I can just cut it and put another fitting in there and just shorten it a little bit. I've got plenty to work with, so we should be good there. All right, project number one complete. Okay, yesterday we finished the sewer, uh, adjusting the sewer because that was just irritating. <laughs> and so now I can actually drain our tanks when the nose is a little bit lower uh, in a site that's uneven. The next thing we're doing, we're doing, we're starting it today. And this is the part that Cindy doesn't know about. Of course, the moving the sewer hose isn't the surprise. Today is the surprise. Uh, so we are going to do a little bit more work to the entertainment center. I'm going to take our fireplace and move it up. And then we're going to refinish the outside of it and create shoe storage underneath it. So we'll get some, maybe some bins some or something like that to, uh, to actually store our shoes, which would be nice. We're just gonna do a little bit of uh, remodeling there and some upgrades, and uh, we'll see Cindy's reaction when she gets home. So uh, let's get started. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out how to take this front like fascia off. Here goes nothing. Well, evidently it's not held on by very much. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Well, that was pretty easy. By the way, this would be a great place for a sound bar. Hmm. I don't know if you can see or not, but this is underneath the fireplace. And that, all of that right there 
That, that wall you're seeing is the side wall to my storage bay. While it is heated, um, it's definitely not getting as much heat as in here, so, you know, it's going to uh, be a little inefficient. And, yeah, there's a lot of room under here. Uh, so we'll see how we can do this. I'm electrical. There's a sewer pipe that comes down through there. A little half wall, some more wires. Yeah, so this is going to be a fun project. By now, y'all must be thinking, he is always doing something to that frig. Because I know I'm thinking it, and if I'm thinking it, I'm sure you're thinking it. That's it. That's, that's all there was to getting that fireplace out. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the vacuum out. I'm gonna clean this mess up. Work on trying to figure out how to get this box right here that they built into it, uh, actually up further so that I can remount the fireplace. I'm gonna take this bottom piece out right here on the floor so that there's a, a clean floor uh, all the way in. Of course, that's gonna leave holes because it looks like it's screwed down into the floor. Uh, so that I think finding like a rubber tray or something to kind of fill the bottom to go around that uh, hose and I have to relocate that, that outlet as well. I think that's going to be key here. Looks like uh, these two pieces are just screwed into the side right here. This is going down and then on this side, these two are screwed into this side, so. Eight screws total, and I should be able to get this, uh, this frame out and then figure out how to move it up. But I think before I move it up, I'm gonna work on a backing. I'd like to get a backing in there so that when you look underneath, you don't just, or you, you don't slide a flip-flop in and it just falls into Neverland back there. Uh, so. I'm gonna work on some type of backing to, to get in there. And then, then I'll work on the front and figuring out how to cover the floor and all that other good stuff. sitting down there and I'm, I'm taking this thing apart this entertainment center and I showed you it's open to the back I can feel some heat like significant heat coming in so I want to see the difference between the floor temperature in here the foot and the temperature in there just to show you guys see how um, how much like heat and you know cold in the winter is actually coming through and it's not very hot outside so it shouldn't be too much let's check in there 78 79, 78, almost 79 degrees. In here, 71, almost a 10 degree difference coming through there. And it's only like 80 degrees outside. So you can see how much uh, heat is coming through when, you know, it's, it's completely open like that. So there's this little board right here that they use to screw, they use to screw it down in. Well, they, they nailed it too that front plate after they put the screws in the ends, so there's two. So I gotta get that out so that I can take that other one out. I don't wanna damage the boards. Now I have one continuous path under the fireplace. Now I need to figure out how to close that backing up some, relocate that wire, pull that wire up some, and get that closed off so that I can rebuild the frame on the front. I just got back from Lowe's. Now I, I bought a board that's actually gonna go under here and help fill in that gap right here. I bought these really cool stick on tiles that, uh, that we could use and they kind of look like wood uh, to just kind of match the theme in here. 
but I'm gonna work on getting this board uh, pinned up, get it cut, because there is a pipe that I need to cut around, and then uh, figure out how to make the uh, inside look good. So that is what is up next. Got this piece cut, and uh, I'm gonna use it just to, to go in here, just like so, and fill in that gap and have something to uh, put the tile against. But I need to figure out where that pipe is in relation to where my board is gonna go and, uh, and then work around that. Say we start with a 12 inch, 12 inch cut. Just left a little space there for this wire and it's not tight. So that way it doesn't get crimped uh, because that goes to our sensor on this side. And then this, I'll just cut out that up to that point. It's still a little like out uh, up until like right in here, but I think I can make it work because that part will be hidden uh, behind the fireplace. So I think that's good. I gotta get my hammer, tack it in. You know what I didn't do? I didn't pull the plug through for the daggone fireplace. Oh no. Day two of this fireplace renovation. Cindy comes home tomorrow. Today's Thursday. Cindy comes home on Friday and uh, yeah, I'm hoping she's gonna be surprised. She was like, why'd you spend all this money at Lowe's? Uh, I'll tell you when you get here. <laughs> Sorry, baby. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're going to start and look, this is what I picked up from Lowe's. So it's like, a, it's a peel and stick wood. And I loved it because it had like all of the tones that we have in here, plus the grayish blue that goes with like our bluish furniture. Some of the tiles have like a little bit more white and tan in it. And uh, so I picked ones that I thought would look good in here. So I'm gonna start uh, backing or basically putting those on that backery that I made yesterday. And uh, that way when you're looking at it, you don't just see that plain backer in the back. Uh, you'll actually see that. And then I'm gonna use the same thing to do the face. So I'm gonna figure out how high I need the backer to go because I don't need to waste it all the way up the back because you're not gonna see it just where you can see it and then uh, put those on there and then I can start getting that frame to the fireplace installed. So let's get started on that. I need to figure out where this frame goes, how low it goes. All right, so now here's my line and the tiles, basically three of them. So I can, I can get away, I think I can get away with doing three just to be on the safe side. I think I'm gonna do a full sheet. I am going to use this little uh, sanding sponge to just kind of rough it up. First one. Also gotta figure out how to cut these things. All right, now that I got that done, I can start working on the frame. I'm gonna work on getting this uh, frame in place. And so it needs to be screwed in and in order to do that, I need to clamp that bad boy in place. The reason I did that tile back there is because this is all gonna be open for shoe storage now. 
And because that's open, I wanted to make sure that when you look in there, it looks, looks good. So this is where the fireplace will go. Got that clamped into place. And now I have to uh, screw, there's holes at the in the inside of this top and bottom board that go into the side here. So I'm just gonna drill them out, little pilot holes, and then I'm going to put the screws back in. So that will be in place. So you know exactly what I was doing. You see these little holes right here on the back side. There's one on each of the crossbars. And so two screws went into those right here um, on the bottom and the top. So this is what's holding uh, this, this framing in. All that wasted space under there. We are on the home stretch. It has been tedious having to cut all of these little pieces of wood and uh, stick them up there and make sure all the lines line up and everything, but we're getting it. We're good. I'm gonna finish this up and then I'm gonna mount that fireplace and I am done <laughs> for, for the time being. Uh, Cindy wants some type of rubber mat. This is what she's talked about before. She still hasn't seen it. But she talked about having some type of rubber mat on the bottom because there is a pipe that protrudes and like comes into the area. Uh, but yeah, we'll figure out what we're gonna do with the floor. But the work around the fireplace is done. Well, almost done. Now I did, I did drill some pilot holes from the back side so that I know where the holes line up. All right, now that I got fireplace mounted in, time to put the glass back on. So I'm done with the fireplace. The only thing left to do is surprise Cindy, so Let's see how this goes. Look at all that storage underneath. Just gotta figure out what to do with that, uh, that pipe and floor right there. That wraps up uh, the fireplace modification and bonus, more storage. They really want me. I know. Uh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Oh my God, Pixie, don't fall. Pixie. Pixie. Oh, you did it. Wow, that looks good. That does look good. Do you like it? Yeah. We just gotta figure out what to do with the floor. The mat? Yeah, I know, but I didn't want to just pick a mat. Hi! Oh, Hi! Oh, did you miss mommy? Oh my gosh! Hey! Did you miss mommy? The camera for you? Yeah. Oh, Lilo! Lilo, come here. Is that new one or is that, um. Hey, no, one. that's a. Uh, feel it. It's like textured wood. Yeah, is it a pan one? It's actually a peeling yeah. stick. Really? Yeah. It is awesome. And it has like every color 
Thank of the you. RV. I think she liked it. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video and a special thank you to our Patreons listed right over here. Yes, without you guys, we could not do this. Um, if you have not considered joining yet, please do. Links down below. And our next video is recommended right below this one, so go check that out.